Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own banging Bluetooth stereo for under 150 bucks. It's going to come out looking something like this guy, and it's going to pound. And basically outperform anything in its price range. It's not going to be as portable. We're going to do a part two to this. We're going to make it portable, but part one. I'm just going to show you guys how to make one of these for as cheap as possible. Stay tuned. So what we used for this uh, Bluetooth speaker are two sets of Pioneer car audio speakers. They're, these are the 4x6's and we also used the 6 inch rounds. Basically the same model, same wattage, same impedance. Basically exactly the same, just these are oval and the others are round. We used a 50 watt times 2 and a 100 watt sub channel Bluetooth receiver amplifier that we got off Amazon for like 40 bucks. We used an LED power button that's a 5 way, you can set it up a whole bunch of different ways. We just set it up so when it's on, the light's on and the amp's on, and when it's off, the light's off and the amp's off. That was like 10 bucks. Uh, we got a 24 volt 6 amp power supply that was around 20 bucks. Our plywood is Aspen. We got that at the Home Depot. We got a 4x8 sheet for like 50 bucks. And that's pretty much everything that went into this except for Isobaric Clamshell. I picked that up for like 10 bucks. It's a Canton Finissimo. Um, I didn't know it was an Isobaric Clamshell when I picked it up. I just thought it was a little 6 inch sub. Turns out it's two 8 inch subs. So, that's what we used for it. I'll have links in the description, or not links, but a, a list of everything that I used in the description. And if you follow, follow us on the Facebook, at Tech Sounds, on Tech Sounds Facebook page, um, I'll have a post on there with the project and everything included that we used. So if you want to build one, hit us up on Facebook, Tech Sounds, and links. You can basically just order yourself one off Amazon. Let's get to it. Here's all the tools you might need. Okay, so we've got our speakers in, and as you can see, we've hooked them up in series. The amp we have runs best at 8 ohms, sounds the best. These are 4 ohm speakers, we have two of them. So, power to ground, and then power and ground. Same over here. So that's going to give us 8 ohms, and I've tested it between 4 ohms and 8 ohms, just like a single speaker or these two and they are just way snappier with the 8 ohms just sounds easily twice as better <laughs> or twice as good there you can see we've got our speakers all wired up and soldered everything's all taped and now we're just going to put the backs on our speaker cabinets and install our sub then we're going to put the amp in there see how she sounds okay so here we go we got her inside I marked where our three volume controls, our bass, our volume, and our tone, are going. So we're going to drill those holes. And then we're going to mount our amp. 
to this little plate here. We're going to slide that in and hopefully they just line right up in the holes. We're going to have to countersink the front in a little bit so we can actually turn our knobs, but I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue. And all right guys, here we go. We've got speaker cabinets all sealed in. Our two speakers are wild, wired in series. We've got our isobaric sub hooked up. Um, it's also in series, coincidentally. Our amps up here. And on the front, Got our port, our controls, and our power button. But alright, let's uh, put the back on, turn it on, and see how she sounds. The Bluetooth device is really too pale. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. All right, so it works. Let's uh play something, see how it sounds. Well, there you go, guys. That is one banging Bluetooth for under 150 bucks. Puts out some serious bass. Uh, all homemade DIY stuff. Can order it basically off Amazon. Well, there you go, guys. Um, a one foot by one foot by two foot Bluetooth boombox. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe, like it, uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. There will be a part two of this where we make it portable. Uh, should be getting like a bed liner, truck bed liner, and a portable battery pack. The other two Bluetooths we're building are going to be rechargeable. So they will be a lot more portable than this. This is more like a job site radio kind of deal. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, and have a good day guys. Thanks.